Um, so ethics, there's, I don't know why I can't use moral, because what he's talking about is ethics. Uh, ethics applies to everyone. Um, and it has to do with the greater good of doing things for everyone um, in, in this world. And if it applies in China, it also applies here. Um, like for an example, well, let's just look at the mentally ill. Um, so it's a sick person and you throw them out on the street to die. Well, you might do that with someone mentally ill, but you're not going to do it with somebody who has a heart attack. But in, in essence, it's ethics of how you treat people that are sick. Um, to me, in war, it, it, the ethics are that you do the best you can to avoid it. And so you look in every avenue, every creative inch. If that means consulting an artist that's got conceptual ideas, you talk to them. They don't necessarily have to be in politics. Science with the plastics, it, it, it involves everybody. The whole world, if we get poisoned, animals get poisoned. Um, so ethics applies to everyone the same all over the world. And morals are more local, like, um, you know, in some African tribal culture, they may take four or five wives. And if we did that here in Virginia, that would be immoral. Um, but we can't judge because we don't live in that morality. So morality is more within your region of your um, ethnic homes. And um, so different morals are different around the world. Um, I think killing people is, or how about like, um, you know, and a day and age comes and things are different. Like back in the old days, you could have sex with an eight-year-old, though, or maybe not eight, but 14, 13, they'd get married. And But as times change, that moral, that's a moral, it changes in different regions. Um, but I think it's an accepted norm that if a, a woman is not menstruating, um, that she's a child. And so, you know, in more educated communities, we wait to start a family till everybody's mature enough to take care and make good choices. Um, but to me, it's, it's a black and white issue. Ethics is definitely only if you can apply it to every person on the planet, um, whereas morals are more of a locality. Um, I guess finances and stuff like that kind of are moral depending on you know, the government's choice of how they want to, you know, and, and the people, if they get a choice, of, that's another thing. Is it immoral to have a communist com country where people don't get a vote? And while their government might say that's a morality, it's an ethic because um, people um, obviously want freedom. So I would think it's... Um, the freedom to educate their children and make good decisions and not be totally controlled by an unethical um, government. So that's ethics. But yeah, no, ch little churches have little morals and stuff like that. Um, you know, just different, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking of transportation now and burning gas and all those choices. And that we don't have any choices if we want to keep up with the economy. Like, say, you don't believe in burning gas, but you have to have a car to get to work. So, that's, um, that is not an ethical dilemma. That's a moral dilemma. And, um, you can choose not to, and you can choose to be, um, a hobo. But, um... That is an ethical decision on the scientists. It's not on the normal person that just has to do what they do because they're not gifted in engineering. The ethics of that for our environment and global warming and all that, that goes down to the engineers and the scientists and creative people that are constructing our transportation system and the oil companies. Are they moral? Are they ethical? I, I think it's an ethics thing. Most things... But I guess it's my behavior as an artist. I'm very out of the box and, and things don't bother me. But certain morals that I may not see might exist.